everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be making some cards from my scrap box you can see my scrap box on the left hand side there it is absolutely chock-a-block so I decided that I needed to sit down and make some cards from all of that uh, and I have just grabbed a few scraps out of there that little um, scallop pattern is actually the backing for some packaging but because I like the design I kept it and I do that quite a lot um, which is great if you're building up your stash and you're a new crafter but when you have so many scraps um, <laughs> hoarding everything is not a great idea <laughs> but I do really like it so I wanted to use it so I'm having a play from my scrap box and a few elements um, from my die cut boxes so I have like those photo boxes that I store all of my die cuts and little stickers and bits and bobs in that are all the same colour so when I picked out my scraps I decided that I was going to go for this kind of like coral and white theme so I pulled out my white scrap box and I pulled out that glitter frame and I went into my embellishment drawers and picked out some lace and I rounded the corners on that um, packaging panel just to make it a bit different and a bit more interesting um, yeah it was just a different kind of thing to what I normally do so I just used my corner chomper for that and I'm sticking everything down mostly with double sided tape um, especially that ribbon because I wanted to hide it behind the panel so that you didn't see that on the inside of the car and yep yeah, so I've got all that stuck down and then I'm going to use this frame and this little butterfly that I've had kicking around in my stash for ages and I decided to use this little vintage pin that I'd made um, it's been in my stash for ages and I just wanted to use it up so I tucked it into the ribbon and then I'm going to put the sharp bit behind this frame that I'm just going to stick on with double sided tape again and that's just to stop anybody catching themselves on it when they're looking at the card and it's a bit fiddly to get this tape off I've had it a long time and um, unfortunately when you hoard your adhesives they can uh, degrade over time and it's a bit more difficult to use them so um, that's another for new crafters too just buy things as you need them try not to hoard them because they just don't work as well when they're old so um, I decided to add a thank you peel off and some gems and that's this card finished and then I'm going to make another one I like to use the same colorways um, a couple of times and get like a little set going it just means I have less to think about because I've already picked out the colours that I want to use and while I've got the drawer out with those embellishment colours I might as well make a few cards. So I'm making another panel and using some scalloped lace this time and again I'm going to use double sided tape to stick that down just to make sure that the lace doesn't come off. And I'm just putting that one straight onto the card base. And these are all A6 card bases, by the way, if I didn't say. Um, I love using pre-made card bases when I'm just using up scraps. It's just one less step. And then I decided to pop this panel up on foam and just leave a little space for the uh, lace. Just because it would have had a lot of texture to go over if I tried to do it flat. And also, um, this is quite a simple L layout and just popping that bit up gives it a bit of dimension. So I pick out these little flowers from my stash and I'm going to pop up half of it on foam because the rest of it is going to be resting on the panel that's already popped up. And I'm going to have a little hunt here for some pearls or something to stick in the middle of those flowers just to make them stand out a little bit more. I struggle to use these paper flowers and I've literally had them for years and because I had the idea to use them I just thought I'm going to do it because otherwise I'll be hoarding them for another 10 years. <laughs> so I decide to add some more bling just to that little strip and that just added another texture 
and I had three left and instead of keeping them I thought why not just stick them on the top corner there. So I have a little play around with the arrangement and I decide that I like these three positioned around the circle and I'm just having a look for a sentiment and I'm struggling because it's kind of like a rose gold but I don't have a rose gold set of peel offs and I don't want to get out my stamps because the whole point of using up these scraps is to make a quick card. So I decide that I'm going to actually use my Pro Markers to colour in the stickers and I don't actually leave them to dry long enough um, so if you are going to make a card and do the same thing with the colouring your peel offs I suggest leaving them a bit longer. Um, but it is a great way of customising your stickers. So I'm just going to use the With Love and unfortunately when I was taking them off I did actually manage to take off all of the colour with my fingers. <laughs> so I'm trying to cheat here um, but I do mess it up so um, I do recommend doing it as I say and not as I did it. <laughs> and yeah, that's my cards for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you for watching. Bye!